Hi everyone, it's great to see you back again. I can just imagine all of your smiling faces. In this math video, we are going to explore the coordinate plane, also known as the Cartesian plane, and we are going to learn how to plot points on the coordinate plane. The coordinate plane is created using two number lines, one horizontal number line and one vertical number line. The horizontal number line starts at zero and includes positive numbers to the right and negative numbers to the left. The vertical number line also starts at zero and includes positive numbers going up from zero and negative numbers going down from zero. Combining the horizontal and vertical number lines so that they intersect at their zero points and are perpendicular to each other creates a two-dimensional coordinate plane. On the coordinate plane, the horizontal line is called the x-axis, and the vertical line is called the y-axis. It's the two axes that make the coordinate plane two-dimensional. The x and y axes always intersect at the point zero, zero. This point is called the origin. If you've ever played the game Battleship, you will be familiar with locating a point on the coordinate plane. Your opponent, your mission, sink the enemy's fleet. Battleship sunk. Battleship sunk. Yeah, now you're talking. Electronic talking battleship and original battleship. The location or coordinates of any point on the coordinate plane can be identified using a pair of numbers. The first number in the pair identifies the point's location along the x-axis. The second number in the pair identifies the point's location along the y-axis. There is a special format for writing the coordinates. Each number is written inside parentheses, separated by a comma. The first number listed is always the x-coordinate. Remember, this number refers to the point's location along the x-axis. Pretty cool, eh? The x-coordinate is along the x-axis. The second number listed is always the y-coordinate. Remember, this number refers to the point's location along the y-axis. The y-coordinate is along the y-axis. You may also hear the coordinates referred to as an ordered pair. This is because the coordinates are a pair of numbers that are always listed in the same order, x and y. If we know the x and y coordinates for any point, we can locate that point on the coordinate plane. There are four steps that you can take to plot any point on the coordinate plane. To show this, let's plot the point with the coordinates 4 on the x-axis and 3 on the y-axis. On the right side of your screen, I'm going to list four steps for success. First, start at the origin. Remember, the origin is the point 0, 0, where the x and y axes intersect. Second, look at the x-coordinate. It's the first coordinate in the ordered pair, and move in either a positive or negative direction along the x-axis. In this case, we have positive 4, so we're going to move positive 4 on the x-axis. The third step is to look at the y-coordinate. Remember, it's the second coordinate in the ordered pair, and you're going to move in a positive or negative direction along the y-axis. In this case, we have positive 3, so we're going to move up positive 3 spaces. Your fourth and final step is to plot your point at the location where the x and y coordinates meet. Right here is our point 4 on the x and 3 on the y axes. You might have already noticed that the coordinate plane is divided into four sections. Each of these sections is called a quadrant. The first quadrant is identified using the Roman numeral 1. Every point located in the first quadrant has a positive x-coordinate and a positive y-coordinate, just as we saw with our example. The remaining quadrants are numbered moving in a counterclockwise direction about the origin. Pause the video and take a moment to plot the point located at coordinates negative 2, 4. How did you do? Let's take a look. To plot the points negative 2, 4, we start at the origin, and we look at our x-coordinate, negative 2. So we're going to move negative 2 places along the x-axis. We then look at the y-coordinate, which is positive 4, so we're going to move 4 places in a positive direction on the y-axis. And our point is going to be right here. So this point is negative 2, 4. This point is located in the second quadrant, 
again identified using Roman numerals. Every point located in quadrant 2 will have a negative x-coordinate and a positive y-coordinate. Take another moment to plot the point with coordinates negative 5, negative 5. Negative 5, negative 5 will be located in the third quadrant. To plot the points at coordinates negative 5, negative 5, we start at the origin, and we move negative 5 places along the x-axis, and then negative 5 along the y-axis. So our point is right here. And this point is negative 5, negative 5. As you can see, every point in the third quadrant is going to have a both negative x and y coordinate. Let's take a final moment to plot the point with coordinates 4, negative 5. Once again, we start at the origin, and we look at our x-coordinate. The x-coordinate is positive 4, so we move positive 4 on the x-axis. And then we look at the y-coordinate, which is negative 5, so we're going to move negative 5 on the y-axis. And our, the location of our point, 4, negative 5, is right here. So we'll label this. And finally, as you can see, any point located in quadrant 4 is going to have a positive x-coordinate and a negative y-coordinate. Sometimes you will locate points that are not in any one quadrant. This is because the point is located on either the x-axis or the y-axis. For example, the point 0, 3 is not in quadrant 1 or in quadrant 2. It is located on the y-axis. We don't move either in a positive or negative direction along the x-axis because our first coordinate is 0, but we do move up positive 3 on the y-axis, so the point 0, negative 3 is right here. The point located at coordinates negative 4, 0 is not in quadrant 2 or in quadrant 3. It's located on the x-axis. Starting at the origin, we're going to move negative 4 along the x-axis, but our y-coordinate is 0, so we're not going to move up or down on the y-axis. So our point lies right here at negative 4 on the x-axis. As we can see, any point on the coordinate plane will lie in one of the four quadrants, on the x-axis, on the y-axis, or right at the origin. So, where do we go from here? Well, a thorough understanding of the coordinate or Cartesian plane will help you illustrate patterns in algebraic expressions, draw polygons, and transform polygons using dilations, translations, reflections, and rotations. All that is coming up in future videos as we continue to learn about geometry. Remember to hit that like button. It really helps me and my channel reach other learners just like you. If you want to improve your math skills, learn about new math tools and strategies, and feel more confident about math, then start now by subscribing and clicking on that bell icon so you don't miss any of my outstanding videos. I'm Eric. Until next time, take care and keep learning. Be free. You suck my battleship. <laughs>